The purpose of this video is to explain what Cranestar Diag is and how it adds value. It is a tool for dealers and Manitowoc technicians in order to improve productivity, shorten diagnosis time and reduce time on the road. Cranestar Diag is at this point a real-time connection to the crane. Cranestar Diag offers the same diagnostic functionalities as the ones which are embedded on the crane with CCS. In order to understand the video, it is important to introduce the people who appear in the movie. On the one hand, on the job site, or locally close to the crane, operator, job site supervisor, potential fleet manager. On the other hand, remotely, the dealer service manager and dealer field technician who will ultimately fix the crane after only one visit on site. Enjoy the film. The crane operator climbs up the crane. When the operator tries to start the crane, nothing happens. The job site contacts the contractor office or the fleet manager to raise the issue and get support. The customer fleet manager or the contractor contacts his dealer. The dealer service manager answers the phone. He connects remotely to Cranestar Diag. In Cranestar Diag, he goes to the default recorder and he sees the default at the top of the screen. Here, the default says that the problem is with the trolley winch contactor. For that very default, Cranestar Diag tells him what to check. Check the trolley relay command chain, then go to Cranestar Diag maintenance menu in order to view input, output, then measure voltage. Thanks to these instructions, he first goes to the Manitowoc Technical Publication Online Tool, GTL, and finds the electrical diagram for the trolley command chain. From that command chain, he sees that the contact Q800F is probably the issue. In order to verify this, he asks the crane operator on the phone to try to start the crane again, and the service manager will real-time check online what's happening on the Cranestar Diag input-output screen. He checks the input-output screen below and sees that A111 does not change from green to white as it should. The electrical diagram shows that A111 is the trolley winch command. Now that the service manager has a diagnosis, he will find the part number for the failing switch. He finds in GTL the part number for Q800F. Then he makes sure that the part is transported to the appropriate field technician who will locally change the switch. The field technician collects the part and goes to the crane to change it. The technician checks the trolley relay voltage and confirms the malfunction. Thanks to this, the crane is working again. The job site then calls the service manager to confirm that the crane is working. The crane starts, the green light doesn't blink any longer. And on the input-output screen, A111 is back to white as it should be. To summarize, it is possible to establish a connection from the dealer's office, from a tablet or a laptop, a technician's van, locally on the crane. This offers the ability to use your best skilled technician wherever he's located to perform the diagnosis. In the majority of cases, a diagnosis can be established remotely. 
More than ever, our objective is to provide you with all the services you need. Thank you for your attention.